If you want to see what's going on in your YouTube channel down to the nanosecond, here's how you check out real-time analytics on YouTube's Creator Studio. Go to the Analytics tab here on the left-hand side within Creator Studio, click that button, and you will see a ton of different options on the screen. Real-time is right behind me. I'll disappear so you can see it. Up here on the right, you can see real-time analytics. It'll tell you in real time how many subscribers you have, how many views you've gotten in the last 48 hours, and give you a little preview of the videos that you've released on your channel and how they're doing recently. You want to dive way deeper in here, though, if you want to get any sort of real insights by clicking See More next to Real-Time Analytics. This will pull up the full Real-Time Analytics dashboard. You can see what's happened in the last 60 minutes on your channel here on the right-hand side, as well as what's been happening in the last 48 hours on your channel in terms of views. So for those of you that release content that you hope to perform extremely well within the first 24 hours, what you can do is you can pull open this window. You can view the performance of your video as it's released here in the 60 minute view. And then after the first 60 minutes of that video performance, you can then go look at the latest 48 hours and see how that video has impacted your total channel views here at the top. For some creators, this matters, especially ones that are about viral, trending, or new content. Also within real-time real analytics, you can see all of your top videos sorted by the highest performing ones at the top, when they were published, and how they've been performing recently. So for example, some of my videos in the last 48 hours, this one got 2,000 views, 1,500 views, etc. And you can see how they're trending over time, which is really, really interesting. Uh, and you can also see ones that you've released recently, as you can see from this example right here, it really had a pop in the analytics and then it died right after that. These real-time analytics can give you a better understanding of which videos on your channel are trending at any given time, if there's anything funky happening with them being discovered or not, and this may give you some insights on what types of videos you can double down on or you can, or you can create today if you're looking to increase your performance on your channel and you're looking to maybe double down on a topic. So let's say for example, my top performing video right now is this OBS studio video right here. To dive deeper with that insight, knowing that it's my top performing video right now, I can use a free tool called TubeBuddy. Here it is up in the top right hand corner. I'm just gonna show you an example. And I can use the keyword explorer to look deeper into this topic and I can type in OBS Studio here. By the way, link in the description below if you wanna check out TubeBuddy. It's a free tool to help out YouTubers. Uh, it's my affiliate link below. And if I explore this topic, I can look through and see what the top video searches are for this particular topic. I'm just gonna randomly click on one right now, OBS Screen Recording Tutorial. And TubeBuddy, look at that, I, I just got lucky. <laughs> TubeBuddy gave it a good score because this particular topic has a relatively okay search volume, but it has really low competition. And so if I wanted to double down on that topic that's doing well in real-time analytics right now, I could use TubeBuddy as a way to capitalize on that trend. Link in the description below if you wanna check out TubeBuddy. It's a great way to capitalize on those real-time analytics. TubeBuddy.com slash AWOLVersus is my affiliate link. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the real-time analytics and be careful don't look at them too much, they could drive you crazy.